In this video, I'm going to do something I've never done before. Clean a camera sensor and show you how. Here's the story. The other day I was shooting a time-lapse in my backyard. The setup I was using was the Panasonic S1 with the Panasonic 24-105mm f4 lens. I also used a Polar Pro Variable ND filter as well to cut out some of the light. If you'd like an in-depth video on how I do time-lapses, let me know in the comments. After the time-lapse was finished, I reviewed the shot and to my absolute horror, I saw this mark on the footage. Not entirely sure as to why the mark was there, I put on my detective hat. I cleaned the filter and the lens, but that didn't seem to be the problem as the mark was still there. I then looked at the camera sensor and noticed some specs on it. Bingo. This meant one of two things. I send the camera off and pay to get the sensor clean or I do it myself. After some research, I came to the conclusion that I should be able to do it myself. And that's what we're going to do now. I picked up this cleaning kit from VSGO off Amazon and I got the full frame sensor cleaning kit because this camera has a full frame sensor. There are other sensor size cleaning kits so it's important to get the right size kit because the swabs included at different dimensions specifically for the sensor size. Now let's give this a go. What could possibly go wrong? So we've got the swab here, I'll open that, making sure that I'm not placing it down on anything or uh, getting dust on the edges here as well. See the swab here, very good. And this will perfectly fit on the sensor here as well, uh, which is great. So now I'll open up the sensor cleaning solution and I'm going to place two drops on the tip of the swab. So there was one that's one there, so we'll go one there and one. There. So it's a little bit moist. And now we're going to align the swab on the sensor and go from left to right. And we're just going to put a very little amount of pressure on it. We swipe one way, don't have the steadiest of hands, but that seemed to do a pretty good job. And now we'll go the other way. That's as simple as that. And now that that's done, I'm going to put my lens on to make sure that no more dust can get onto the sensor. And now that we've done that, let's try it out again and see what another time lapse looks like. And hopefully there won't be any spots on the sensor, ruining the footage. Here's the first time lapse. Look at that spot. And here's the second time lapse, no more spot. After shooting this time lapse, I then gave the sensor one more clean with the dry swab, just to make sure any leftover residue was taken care of. Here's the final time lapse, with a clean sensor. If you learned something in this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments if you've cleaned your camera sensor before, or if this video has given you the confidence to do it in the future.